What's going on guys? Come sit back again on another MLB the 18 Diamond Dynasty video and today we have some huge, some grand, some big news. Of course, the show finest program. They did go ahead and just reveal to us all 17 of the brand new flashback cores on their live stream and we will get to those in just a second but first I want to talk about really what the finest program is. So as they stated, the finest program pretty much signifies the greatest players of that year and they have a flashback accumulating all of their best months. So let's say somebody had, uh, you know, a really good year in total, but their month of like October or not October, Jesus, but like the month of July or something was bad and they didn't do very well, completely thrown out. They take their best month hitting wise versus righties versus lefties, speed wise, how many stolen bases, and it just accumulates to a great big flashback cord. The overalls do range from a 92 to a 98 overall, 17 players. Now about how you guys get these so this will all be collection this will not be really any missions although there are two missions you can win 50 battle royale games and you get a guaranteed non-sellable finest player and also you'll have to put uh and also another way of getting one is beating all 30 teams starting from the lowest so the oreos and going to the best so the red Sox most likely um and doing those two you're gonna get two guaranteed free non-sellable finest players also everybody once this does drop and we do not know yet or at least i do not know yet i've uh, i'm already recording by the time this started uh, anyway, once this drops, everybody will be getting a free finest player. So everybody will get one free out of 17 and you can get three free out of 17 and you need 12 to be able to finish the program. And that of course will help you along the ways to get Mike Trout and Dennis Eckersley. They will all be in the marketplace. That is how you obtain of these. And personally, I'm not a huge fan of that. And the packs cost 30,000 to be able to get them. And from what I heard, they aren't guaranteed. I could be wrong on that fact but they are 30,000 stubs to get so I don't know exactly how expensive they are but uh, trust me once you see these stats you're gonna agree these cards are nice as hell so without further ado let's get right into it so the first flashback we are going to look at is Josh Hader of course he is actually the only finest player that is located within the program so you have to do some stuff do some collecting do that BR mission and those kind of things to be able to get this Josh Hader but as you guys can see 125 hit 9 125 k9 velocity Velocity is off the charts. Of course, the walk nine in control is a little bit, you know, not necessarily where you'd want it to be. Fastball, slider, changeup. He's going to be one of the best lefty relievers in the game. He is the only reliever, or I think the only pitcher with 125 hit nine, 125 K9. Not much else to say. Absolutely disgusting. So now all the rest of these players are going to be on the market, starting with 92 overall Aaron Nola. As you guys can see, pretty good stamina, pretty good hit nine and K9. Um, honestly, I definitely think think this is the worst probably or maybe the second worst that's Aaron Nola right there they go really fast I'm sorry um at least with the lower overalls but then JT Ryumuto he is the catcher finest and you know he's got really good contact versus righties and pretty good power versus righties um of course he has 76 speed which is really high for a catcher pretty good defense as well but uh let's get honestly I think these two are definitely the worst finest players that they do have available um of course Aaron Nola of uh talking about him uh he's not necessarily great at anything although he does have pretty good pitches honestly i've never really used his live series card i don't really know how good he is you guys are gonna have to use your own judgment and then jt ryumuta of course um he looks all right but i mean he can't really hit lefties and even his righty hitting is definitely not the best but if you like speed and catcher he definitely will be the move for you up next we have some 93 overall starting with 93 overall trevor bauer of course he's got really high canine let's get not too much stamina here he has a lot of good pitches, throws at a high velo. Um, you know, he has about 91 velo. He's got a sliding curve, a slider, a cutter, and a changeup. Really, really effective pitches in my opinion. And also his walk nine at 72 is pretty good. Lorenzo Kane, of course, right here. He's got good speed, not much of an arm, which really is a big factor for me. Although um, his defense is good. Otherwise, good contact, of course. Pretty good power versus lefties at an 84, but his power versus righties is really what kills me. As you guys know, not many people start lefty, uh, start 
starting pitcher, so that really is going to be key. And then Freddie Freeman, once again, he is a lefty, gonna face a lot of right-handed batters, and his power versus righties is only at a 57, definitely not as high as you'd like it to be, but otherwise, the card is really good. Good against lefties, good contact, pretty good fielding for a first baseman, decent speed, he is gonna be a good lefty bat, but I definitely think this card is a little bit underwhelming. Maybe he didn't hit righties for that much power this year. Um, I guess I thought he had power for a little bit more against righties, but that card definitely not as good as I would like it to be. And now we get into the really exciting cards. As you guys can see, Javier Bias. You guys can already see a preview of his stats. He is amazing at everything. 81 speed, 91 arm. You know, he has uh, 90 plus contact, 102 power versus lefties. Um, his vision is a little low, but great contact. And if you guys look at his positions, he plays every single position except for catcher. The whole outfield, the whole infield, just he cannot play catcher. That card is absolutely amazing. You guys know my point blank style. I call it 96 overall. He's he's amazing. You know, his stamina once again isn't that high, but he's got really good uh, at 112 hit nine and 102 K nine. He has you know, decent pitches. I wish he had one more, but you can't really change that. Good velocity on him. The only downside I can see is really his walk nine at only about a 60 something. I can't really see because my preview is pretty small of it, but Blake Snell, Javier Baez look amazing. And then Blake trying to once again, sinker, slider, fastball, cutter, two seamer, really good pitches, a lot of velocity on him as you guys can see. He, he, he is amazing. These cards, as you guys can see, once we get into the 96 plus, they are so good. Like Trinan, you know, he's got really good hit in K9, and he also has around a high 80 to a 90 overall, I think. Um, it looks like for his walk nine, all these cards so far, they do really, really look amazing. Javier Baez probably is my favorite one so far. Of course, you guys know I'm going to get that Blake Snell. I'm really excited for that one. But honestly, all the 96 overalls look fantastic. 97 overall Max Scherzer. You, you guys already know. I know a lot of people have a little bit of trouble pitching with Max Scherzer. Personally, I think I do a pretty all right job. But, you know, he's got really good hit really good k9 once again the stamina not quite over 100 which i do find kind of find a little bit of difficulty with the break isn't that high if you guys can look right there or actually no i'm looking at the velocity my apologies uh the break is really good the velocity is not the highest um although his curveball you know he doesn't really have too many fastballs so that kind of uh you know would make it that way his curveball and change up are pretty slow along with his slider but he does have a cutter which is a good pitch in my opinion um his wide Lockdown is a little bit lower than maybe I would like it to be, but nonetheless, this card definitely looks really, really good. But as I uh, as I said, of course, some people cannot pitch with Max Scherzer. Personally, I'm going to try to get all these cards. I want to get all of them because the card art, oh my god, whoever does you guys' this card art, give them a massive W. They look so good. Let me know down below in the comments as we are going on, guys. Who is your favorite player? Who are you most excited to go ahead and grab for your squad? Whoo! JD Martinez, you guys already know this card. He's he's the best hitting flashback. Uh, he's the best hitting finest card, as you guys can see. He, he's amazing at everything, except for speed and defense. But he honestly does have an all right arm, so you can put him in uh, the outfield. Unfortunately, he cannot play first base, but... Uh, you, you guys can see it amazing at everything he's got about i think 118 power versus righties and 112 power versus lefties maxed out contact versus lefties and about 104 contact versus righties he, he, he's terrific honestly i've used his live series card what he lacks in the field and uh base running wise he may, he more than makes up at the plate he is going to be fantastic um once again though if you guys do value like speed in your outfield a lot as do i Maybe there's going to be better options, but if you guys are looking for pure performance at the plate, there really is nobody better than this. He's pretty much an immortal, although he's only a 97 overall. A pair of players from Cleveland, Francisco Lindor and Jose Ramirez, both receiving 97 overall. The show finest flashback cards, and keep in mind, they're both switch hitters, which are going to make both of them very, very good. Um, of course, Francisco Lindor at shortstop, he's, he's amazing. You know, the contact righties is not that high. 
high. Um, but honestly, it's it still gets the job done. Contact is not nearly as important as it was in previous years. Honestly, I do wish his arm strength was a little bit better, at least into the 80s for a shortstop. But you can play him at second base, and he'll be one of the best at that position. He's got pretty good speed at about a 72 good stealing as well. But I think really what we're here for is he's got 100 power versus righties, and he has 85 plus um, power versus lefties, and really good contact versus lefties as well. Like I said, switch hitter, and that's really what makes Francisco Lindor uh, really effective. And you know, he can play shortstop, he can play uh, second base and third base as well. Um, he, he looks like a great card, really no complaints other than his arm strength, and on, that's really my only complaint. Uh, then Jose Ramirez, of course, once again, he's only got about 70 speed, but he has 91 stealing, which is really good. He's got average defense at about a 75, play him at second base, no issue. Once again, a switch hitter. Honestly, his hitting is not as good as I maybe would hope it would be. Um, he has good vision, good discipline, which I kind of value, but, um, you know, good power and good contact. He's just a really balanced card with about 70 speed and like I said he's a switch hitter and that is really important switch hitters are very very effective in diamond dynasty and I encourage you guys if you do not have a bunch of lineup diversity go out and get Jose Ramirez and Francisco Lindor it'll really cause a lot of problems for your opponent these two cards both from the Cleveland Indians look absolutely tremendous the highest overall reliever of the finest program is Edwin Diaz of course 98 overall he's got you know really good hit in K9 at about maxed out, not quite to Josh Hader's level, but I think his control and his walk 9 is a little bit better. The really thing I have a problem with him is he's got a fastball, a slider, and a changeup. He only has three pitches. It's actually the same amount of pitches as Josh Hader, so you know, honestly, they're kind of the same card except Edwin Diaz is going to be a little bit more accurate, and of course he's a right-hander and Josh Hader is a lefty, uh, but nonetheless, if you guys have found success with this live series or his player of the month card, I think you guys are going to be in love with this card. As if there is any doubt, Jacob deGrom is going to be the 98, the highest overall starting pitcher. Really, no complaints whatsoever with this card. It's amazing. You know, it has the stamina over the 100 threshold. Um, he's got really good hit in K9. Even his walk 9 is right around the 90 mark. Good velo and good break and a good mix of pitches. He has a fastball, a, sl uh, a slider, a changeup, a two-seamer, and a curveball. Jacob deGrom, he, he looks amazing. And this card is so much well-deserved. I think they said on the live stream, his ERA is the lowest since 2015. And it's been like one of the lowest in like a long ass time. He had a tremendous season and he definitely deserved this card for a minute. I thought he wasn't going to get one and they only would have gave it to Scherzer. But Jacob deGrom much deserved to get this card no flaws whatsoever. The National League MVP, Christian Yelich, of course, much deserved once again, 98 overall. Um, you know, he has good defense, his arm strength is a little low, he's got about 80 field, uh, not fielding, 80 speed and good stealing as well, and he's a really good hitter. You know, he has 100 plus, uh, he has 102 power versus righties and 90 power versus lefties, and he has good contact as well, almost maxed out versus lefties and really high versus righties as well. I personally really like his Wing. I've used his live series card. It's amazing. He's one of the best lefty bats that you're going to get. Once again, put him in left field. That arm strength really is not going to be much of an issue. Uh, all I'm going to say is I'm sorry if you did his POTM card um, because you pretty much just wasted a lot of stubs because this card is miles better than that one. But like I said, so well deserved for Christian Yelich. But Marlon still won the trade. <laughs> Last but not least, they gave it to the NL MVP. The AL MVP getting some love to Mookie Betts, 98 overall, of course. He has 87, uh, 87 stealing, 73 speed. Uh, once again, his arm strength is kind of low, but you could put him at second base. No problem. Going to be one of the best second basemen in the game. Uh, you know, he has good power and good vision as well. Of course, amazing contact, as you would expect. I believe he was one of the top, if not the top hitter in the American League this year. I'm pretty sure he was the the lead leaguer and batting average for the American League. But uh, once again, a card that really doesn't have any flaws, at least if you put him at second base. Um, because in the outfield, I definitely think the arm strength could be an issue. But nonetheless, that is going to wrap up all 17, the show finest flashback cards. Let me know down below which one you guys are most excited for. Let me know your thoughts and opinions generally, all in all, on the finest program. Personally, I am very excited, although I think it's going to be hella expensive. All I gotta say is I really regret buying a bunch of players for the collections because I know these players are going to be uh, expensive as hell. But uh, once again, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like, double the whole because they're great today. And then you guys can tell you.